think that I think, I think a better question to ask is whether like how does uh the the Craig Adams view that uh that goodness is just a synthetic property within God, how that gets you out of the second horn of the Euthyphro dilemma. Right? Because it just yeah. seems like what I'll just thinker... come in five minutes, please, uh, please spam me for five minutes. Oh yeah, that's fine. I, I just think that what thinkers is just asking is what like most atheists ask, like, oh, if God commanded rape tomorrow, uh, w- would you do it? Right? I, I I don't I don't like that. That's just unfruitful, to be honest. <laughs> I, I don't. Oh, sorry, what, sorry. Where so, so, so so you're thinking about the which 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 of the two horns? The uh, the, the uh, second like, it, it being an the extent. second horn or so. so it being arbitrary. No, the second horn. Or it being an ex- external standard. Right, like, goodness is just an item that's external to God. But how, how is it external if you're appealing to an internal property? No, I'm just saying, look, I, I, the, the idea is, is that there's going to be, like, some causal explanation for why God is good, right? Mm-hmm. So, if that's the case if you're positing like goodness is just like something that's synthetically known not analytically known then the question is in virtue of what is there a causal explanation for why god is good that's why that's why the second horn is wrong um, because that's made I, I, compatible that that I, means I, well, I don't understand though. I don't understand. Explain it to me, because if you so if you appeal to God's nature, right, then the, the, the whole point to, uh, to, uh, is to get out of the like you for dilemma is like well either it is a standard that is external to God, or it is arbitrary. But uh, so if, if if you're thinking of you know the idea that well it's a standard uh, you know external to God that God adheres to, and and the theist gives you an internal explanation for uh, the goodness as in the standard is coming from within god then why why doesn't that get out of the no no but no no but look here's the idea right the idea is is that if there is a causal explanation for why god is good then you could just say well the second horn is just going to be compatible with that right because presumably um it could be it's, it's possible to have a state of affairs where in virtue of the good being external to God, it's within God's nature to always um, be in accordance with that standard, right? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Um, okay, yeah, but then that's not the... Okay, but, but then I guess, I guess the, the whole point is that I mean, I wouldn't phrase it like that, that according to God's nature makes it so that, you know, he's always in accordance to an external standard. The whole point is that there is an inherent, you know, primitive goodness in God as in his nature. And that is what does the causal explanation for God's, you know, uh, um, I guess if you're talking about his moral commandments being good, that what does the causal explanation uh, with regard to his moral commandments being, uh, you know, good. But... Wait, but then how does that? Wait, but how does then that refute the 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 other one, where it just says goodness is external to God, but it's within God's nature to always be like this moral expert that commands what the good is. I, right? I don't know what that means. The good goodness is external to God. If you can explain that, what, they, what just does that mean? Goodness, just imagine goodness as like some abstract object, which God, it's within his nature to be um, that which uh, manifests the good, right? He could be like some, what what, uh, what some philosophers would call like some concrete exemplification. Yeah, but right? that's not what I believe, of course. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. You don't, I, yeah, I, I I know what your view is, but it seems like your view isn't like logically incompatible with the second horn. Well, yeah, I'm not understanding why. Because there's because there's no incompatibility in saying that um, God has this intrinsic property of the good 
in virtue that he's always in accordance with what the good is, right? And the um, good is like some external property. Why Why does the good have to be an external property? Why can't it be an internal property? No, no, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying that under this view, goodness is an external property, but God is the type of like agent or being that internally speaking is always in accord with that property. I don't see what are, are, are you I don't saying the inconsistency is okay. But are you saying uh, my view has to logically rule that out? Because I, mean, I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, I, I don't. I, well, I don't. Well, I'm, 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 saying, I'm, I'm just saying that's that, not my view. Well, no. What, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, is that, like, you want to be committed to the view that it's a false dilemma, right? That yeah. there's a third option. But I'm just saying is that the third option is just going to be compatible with the second option. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be incompatible with it. It could just be that there is a third option that possibly is mutually exclusive with the second. Oh, but but do you okay? Maybe maybe let me express it this way. So. Do you think that since your view isn't necessarily incompatible with the second horn, that um, you're also going to be committed to the view that any critique that someone wants to give off of the second horn, that it doesn't apply to you? But I'm, I'm honestly not sure that it's, it's I'm just granting you that it's that it's uh, it's compatible. But I'm not because because the, the from my understanding, the response of like the modified divine command theory should be something like. Uh, uh, God's nature is what sets the standard. I mean, alongside the fact that well, God's nature would do the causal explanation. But wait, God's but that nature doesn't, is also wait, the wait, standard. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. But look, look God... Why doesn't it like, make sense? <laughs> wait, but goodness is, goodness is already a property within God, right? Yeah. Okay, so, and God can't, like, set his own properties, right? So it's not like God, like, embellishes. Uh, yeah, he doesn't choose it. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so then that, then, then set isn't, like, the correct, like, term there. Like, are you just going to say that he no. Wait, is are, are synthetically you that known? A... Wait, but are you saying, like, it's just synthetically known that he is identical to the standard of good? I'm not saying he's identical to the standard of good. I'm, of good. I'm saying that uh, the uh, primitive property of goodness is inherent to God. It's within God. Now, are you are you are you are you telling me that because God has this property of goodness, it must be an instantiated property? You know that is you know based in some kind of like abstract notion external to God. Um. Well, in one sense, yes. In one sense, no. The idea is is that. Um, goodness can still be some external property that um, that he's always been in accordance with. He's always been aware of this property, right? In the sense that um, he knows all true propositions, right? And if, you know, goodness exists as a true proposition, he's always going to be epistemically in accord with that, Right. Yeah, that's but the point. idea, yeah, the idea, point. no, yeah, the, the idea, the idea is that Abdurrahman is saying that's not his view. He's giving another view. You're not saying it's contradictory. You're just trying to say that there's another possible option, and we would negate that option based on other considerations. Exactly. So you're not really. There's really no argument for you bringing. No, there is an argument, right? Because the idea is, is that. There's there's no incompatibility with good goodness being a property within God, but he is always in accord with some other property that's also being good. Yeah, you're just saying that we cannot derive a contradiction from that proposition, but nobody's making that claim, so it's really irrelevant to the discussion. No, but what I what I what I first asked him is. Like since he holds to this synth this synthetic theory, right? That goodness is a synthetic property. I first asked, well, how does he like get out of the objections that people who hold to like the second horn bring up? Yeah, but, yeah, but, and you're, but what you're doing is you're saying that you can answer that in such a way to uh, avoid it in a particular way at, at the first move. 
but then there's another card that comes back and hits you. The fact of the matter is, that's assuming a different view, which he doesn't hold to. So you're not really dealing with his actual view. So, Abdul, so you want to just say something like, um, there, there, it, 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 uh, under no circumstance whatsoever, there's not going to be a state of affairs where God has to be in accord with something external to itself, like this moral property called goodness, but rather it's like some intrinsic property that, yeah, yeah. by his yeah. nature, he's always in accord with that. Okay, that's fine, right, but... Like sure, sure, we could we could we could grant that and move on. But like, I just wanted to point out that, um, I mean, under most cases, um, that's that's still like merging with the second horn. But we can move on, right? So you said something oh, like, but all you're saying is that look, look, uh, look. All you're saying is that it's um, it, it it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive with the, with the first horn in the sense that. Uh, uh, um, it, it's uh, it's it's denial, as Jake put it. It's denial doesn't entail a contradiction, and that also it's possible for you to kind of merge the the, the, the second and third horn. But that's not taking that third option uh, as I put it forward seriously, because with the qualifications I'm giving you, it is not uh, you know uh, uh, um, compatible with the second horn. So uh, I, I mean. You no, 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 that. no, no, no. I, I, I understand what he said, right? But that's why I, I wanted to like talk about like, I, we could grant you that for the sake of argument, but I just want to know like, like why you think categorical norms exist? Like, well, well, we can know that's a different question. That's not, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's a different question now, Doc, because what you're doing is you are pressing on a particular point, and when I showed that it actually has no merit whatsoever. You're saying that you're granting it for the sake of argument. No, you're granting it because I argued against your position and I showed that it was bankrupt. And now you want to move oh, on wait, to another how, position how, wait, that is totally bankrupt? that it's totally because it doesn't how's actually it apply to the argument. Second horn? It doesn't actually apply to the position. And now you're wanting to move on to categorical norms, which is a separate discussion. We're not granting it for the sake of argument. You're granting it because the argument was shown that it was actually not correct. Okay, so what part of the argument, what, which premise wasn't true within the arguments? We you, just went over it, and you right. just accepted it. No, but you accepted the conclusion that's going to be incompatible with the second horn, so I don't under, understand. No, we just showed that your argument assumes a different view than Abdurrahman is representing. Therefore, it's not actually dealing with his position. But who who said that I was necessarily arguing that his position was false? I was just I didn't say that she said it was false. But you were trying to say that it entailed uh, falling mm -hmm. victim to one of the horns of the dilemma. And we're showing that it necessarily doesn't necessarily do so. You're trying to configure it in such a way that it could, but under her, his current position, it doesn't fall victim to that. So you can't just say that for the sake of argument. No, we've explained the point that it doesn't. I think I already, exp I already explained that he could just take the second horn and then still consist with his position, right? Like, he even agreed to that. No, wait, so, so, I can, so you can take the view that, you know, goodness is an inherent property of God and that it sets the standards of goodness, and you make that compatible with the idea that God is, uh, uh, you know, acts in accordance to an external standard of goodness. When, 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 I, when the view literally says that there, this, the standard of goodness is uh, uh, set internally from within God, you know, God's inherent nature. So, so I, how, how do you make those two compatible? You, I mean, you need to take that additional qualification and see whether the position is compatible with the second horn. Yeah, what you're, you're basically saying, well, if I remove one of the conditions that allows to avoid the uh, second horn of the dilemma, then all of a sudden, well, it could be compatible with it. <laughs> That's just taking a different position and not dealing with what we're actually saying. We're saying, no, you're, the problem is you're neglecting an additional condition and stipulation, and that's why your argument doesn't even get off the ground.
No, but the argument was just to show that even if it's his position that there's some intrinsic property, right, it could just be the case that there's an intrinsic property which allows him to always be in accord. Yeah, you, all good. you're saying in that cir circumstance yeah, is that it's logically possible, and we've already granted exactly. that. We're not arguing by necessity here. We're not like, I'm sorry to say, you're not dealing with some other people that are on here. We're not assuming that every argument or position that he is held needs to be demonstrated by necessity and that all other pop possibilities need to be shown that they're logically impossible. We don't hold that position. So again, you're making an argument based on a false assumption. Wait, but, wait, but Jake, do you realize that I just wanted to get clarification on what his view was, right? I wasn't even saying that. I didn't even ask him, like, is your view incompatible with the view that I described, right? No, but Garth, what you're saying now, what you're saying now, what you're saying now, all you're saying is that there, what we, what it essentially boils down to, all of this gymnastics and language, what it boils down to is, guys, there are other logically possible positions. Okay, so what? And that philosophers can still use against the person who wants to argue that position, but is no, dark, dark. Look, not if you, not if you add dark. the additional condition that we've already established that negates that. That's the point. You're yeah, trying to right. say that because a particular yeah. position yeah. is logically possible, even though it's not the one that we hold to, therefore the dilemma can be used against our position. No, it can't because we don't hold that position. Yeah, Darth, you're, you're, see, the Epiphor Dilemma is trying to say that I need to take this position or that one, right? And apparently there's a problem with that. Now, I'm providing you with a third option, which you have agreed can be put in a way that, you know, uh, uh, makes it genuinely incompatible with the second. And then you say, okay, I no, can accept no, that no, for the that's sake of argument. With the, second. the whole idea that's is what? compatible with it, the second. Without the, with the qualification, the qualification I give you makes it, makes it directly contradictory with the, with, the, with the second one. It says that it is... Wait, how? The, how? The how? standard, the standard of goodness is uh, internal to God, as in his, his, his nature sets the standard of goodness. It's not something external to him that he by nature uh, uh, conforms with. It's, 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 that's not like that. So, so uh, what, what I'm... What, what, okay, when I'm you that third option... And, and with goodness... What? With wait, wait, well, what's the contradiction with goodness existing as a platonic object and God existing? Did, did, did I say there's a contradiction? Again, you're going back to contradictions. So, but so you said it was incompatible. What? No, it's inconsistent with the view that we hold. That's what we said. Okay, but yeah, but he said it was. He said that the view I stated was incompatible with his view, right? But I'm just saying, look, there's this platonic object of good. It's external to God, but there's also a type of good which God possesses. What, oh, yeah, but I, are, I, I, but, are those but, 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 incompatible? Didn't, didn't I already tell you I don't believe that? And you, I mean, maybe you Yeah, if we already have a prior metaphysic that negates these platonic objects of floating goodness, etc., then that's the additional condition that you're not considering. Our position doesn't hold to that. Yeah, and, and I, thought we, I thought we moved past that, Darth. Like, I already told you, I don't believe that, that God, basically, his properties are instantiated from some kind of platonic realm, and you you heard that, and you acknowledge this. So I thought we moved past that. Now, when I do provide that third option, it's not that you're like, okay, let's move on for the sake of argument. It's like, okay, yes, your position does seem incompatible with the second horn, and does seem to be some kind of uh, resolution to it. It's not like, oh, let's accept it for the sake of argument and then move on to another point. It's not for the sake of argument. <laughs> Get it? For it's the sake dark, of argument. Dark. It's like, you know what? Yeah, he wants to move on to say that it's for the sake of argument because it was shown that the actual line of argument didn't work. That's why you want to move on to this Wait, other discussion. How, how do you know that that's the case, right? Because I, just because saying, I can I intuit it based on the way that you responded. I'm that, wait, I'm just saying for what a, with the position that Abdul just gave, it could just be made compatible with any criticism provided with the second horn. That's why it, I don't think it gets out of the second horn. Or else I wouldn't have asked. So dark, dark, dark. If uh, so, let me let me 
I think you're using confusing language, right? Wait, wait, so wait, if you... wait, wait, for, wait, for Lasso. Yeah, yeah, so, wait so a what, second, what's, man. What's, what's the second horn, Dar? What's the second horn? That, um, that goodness is external to God, and he just acts like, uh, like, a, like a moral expert. Okay, and in my, in my position, what's my position? Your position is that goodness is some intrinsic property within God. Okay, and the standard, because that's an important part. The standard of goodness? The standard of goodness is God. Okay, now, uh, so the first one is that there's a standard that's external to God that he acts in accordance to. And the second is that the standard of goodness is God, or is from within God. You tell me how those two are compatible. Look, because the standard of good could be an intrinsic property within God, but there could also exist another platonic object, which is also good that he's... In no, we're saying, saying it's intrinsic. We, we're explicitly saying that it's intrinsic to him and not extrinsic. We've already stipulated that, so it's not possible on the theory that we're providing. So, Dart, um, the way you want to actually structure the Uther for the... No, no, hold on, Mr. Philosopher. Hold on, bro. We're, we're, uh, don't, no, uh, no, hold on. We're having a conversation. You just come in here. There's like eight other people on stage. You're not going to just jump over everybody else, man. It's not how it works. Go ahead, Darth. So, did you understand what I said? Yeah. I, yeah, did, did you, you understand, understand what we've said for the past like 20 minutes? Yeah, I've understood it. I'm just it doesn't saying, seem like it because you're not really I'm, accounting I'm just, for the I'm just, response. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that I, I don't see. I don't see how it. I mean, I it's don't very simple. It's Number one, if we're saying that the property is intrinsic and not extrinsic, it negates that the standard is something that's extrinsic. And we can go even further to say that we don't even believe in such of a floating property or platonic object as goodness. So we're saying that that's not the case, and therefore it negates that possibility given our theory. Okay, okay, wait, wait a second. So you're saying that negates the possibility now, but when I gave you the view earlier, you said that it's not a problem that it's incompatible with the view I gave. And the oh, view I was... gave was compatible. Darth, we're we're saying that we do not hold to that, and we're adding it. We're adding something additional to the theory that you are not including in your critique. We're adding something into the theory, and you're not you're not even attempting to account for that. You're just acting as if it's irrelevant. Okay, fine. But do you do you agree that you said before that? There wasn't some incompatibility, and now you're saying that there is an incompatibility. What are you talking about? No, you said when when I when I was talking to Abdul Rahman earlier about the view that I gave, he he said that it wasn't incompatible, and then you chimed in and said, "Well, the problem is isn't we're not saying that it's necessarily impossible for those two views to coexist," and now you're saying that there is. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, given our prior commitment and the theory that we're actually defending and stipulating, then it's just the case that they do not cohere. And that's contrary to your previous claim, right? No, never. I never said anything other than that. Wait, does, He's been saying this the entire did, time. Hey, Abdul, didn't he say earlier that it doesn't matter if the two views are compatible? No, I didn't even talk about that. I told you that they're not compatible because there's something additional to our theory that doesn't allow for the objection. Wait, but I'm pretty sure you yeah. said earlier that it doesn't matter if there's an incompatibility. With no, no, it doesn't no, you're matter. misunderstanding. It doesn't matter. I said it doesn't matter if I can't rule out. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I if rejecting my theory about what I'm stating about the goodness of God, if rejecting it does not entail a logical contradiction. I'm saying that doesn't matter. We're not arguing that point. Okay. That's what I said. Thank you. As in the view doesn't rule out logically the other two options. 
uh, in, in the dilemma, uh, Darth. That, that's basically what, that's all he's saying. Okay, because what I thought he said earlier, and maybe I was wrong, but someone might check in the replay earlier that, like he he, there isn't a necessity for him to rule out other things, which considerably are logically possible with your view, right? No, not logically possible from which no that's you, not what i said it's just logically possible to negate the view that he's yeah it's just logically I, I possible that simpliciter yeah. that's so what i no, said okay so so there's no contradiction in negating it but it's not necessarily compatible with abdul's view correct what? there's no uh, there my point was to say right, it's, yeah. there's not it's not uh uh contradictory to negate my view from a logic, purely logical standpoint, it's based on metaphysical considerations. Okay, that okay, like sure, but like, so then I would ask then, like, why, like, okay, let's just say that it, that the that the thing in question is not logically impossible; it's like metaphysically impossible. Um, let's say for something what the other guy was bringing up earlier that's metaphysically impossible for god to command something that's immoral and i just want to know why because presumably um just because god has this intrinsic property of goodness that we can grant how does it follow from that that um there's like some thing preventing him from ever actualizing anything immoral I don't understand. So my question is, like, what, like, how, how is it metaphysically impossible for God to command something which is immoral? Like, in virtue of what is that impossible? I'm not. I'm not asking you what the claim. What the claim states. Sorry, but the I'm, view I'm not sure. So, Darth, are you asking? Like, is this a separate question? It's not related to this. So, have we moved? Because I have. No. Yeah. We. Yeah. We. We, yeah, we, we, we moved on. We moved on. Although okay, I, so, I might, so, like, bring up like further thoughts in the future about. Like, okay, that's fine. But so no, 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 no. So hold on a second. So are you conceding the point? No, I'm not conceding. When did I concede? Okay, so okay, so then I'm not willing to move on. I'm not willing to move on until you're willing to concede that you misunderstood what we actually Wait, said. That your objection doesn't. Your objection. Your objection does not actually apply to our position. Why? Why would I be under like any normative consideration to concede to you? Like, uh, uh, you don't have to, but then I would just dismiss you as a dishonest person and remove you from the stage. I just wanted to have a conversation with Abdul. I know. I know you don't want to have a conversation with me. I feel it. Well, well what do you mean you don't know? Like <laughs> I said, I know that Access you don't. Access to my mental state. I know that you don't. Yeah, I know that you don't. I know that you don't because I know I know. I know that you don't because I know it's... I know I, it's hard on you right now. I know it's hard on you. I'm, I'm, I'm hard Darth, on. you can see the point anyway. You're just not willing to yeah, like say it up front. That's the point, brother. You're not. You're not being. You're not being sincere. And once I see that you're not being sincere, I'm not interested in the conversation with you. How about that? Well, I want to have a conversation here with anyone. You you do you do or you don't? I know I do. I said I do. Yeah, exactly. No, but so my, Dar, the, the problem is, uh, so, so, so you see, the, the issue is, uh, the reason I think Jake uh, uh, does have a point here, I mean, all you have to do is just, just concede that the critique doesn't apply. It's fine, because what you said earlier was a bit strange. When we wanted to move on, you said, I can accept it for the sake of argument. Well, that's a bit strange, considering you were trying to say that, hey, this solution doesn't work for X, Y, Z reasons. And then when it was shown that those reasons are false and that the solution potentially does work, uh, you said, I'm going to mm -hmm. accept this for the sake of argument. No, I no, I know. For I, the I, sake of argument. No, I, no, I, 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 I never, never, never said anything amounting to that. 
We've got you the replays in it, brother. You That's said, exactly what yeah, you said. You said you will concede. Yeah, uh, listen, no. You said that you'll grant it or something when they yeah, obviously I proved it to you. It for the sake of argument. Yeah. But that doesn't... I conceded. Yeah, but then when we... Right. The but then you conceded, right. but you just conceded no, a few on minutes. On a yes, you did. Hold on, hold on a second. That's the point. Because you, gra you granted for the sake of argument, and we said no. We're not willing to move on for you to say that you're granting for the sake of argument because we could smell out that you said that because you realized that your critique was not working. So we pressed it further and we demonstrated the second and the third time. And now we're back at the original point, whether or not you're willing to actually be honest and concede that your critique was based on either a misunderstanding or a misrepresentation of our actual position in which your argument doesn't apply to. Look, I the only thing that I said was that I granted it for the sake of argument. That doesn't mean I necessarily agree. Exactly. With That's why we didn't move on. Uh, Jake, 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 Jake. I didn't. Wait a second. I, Darth, Darth, Darth. Listen, Darth. One second. Look, your 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 critique was that the position is compatible with the second horn. Now, when it is shown that the position is incompatible with the second horn, you're not just accepting that for the sake of argument. You are conceding. No, 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 no. And wait, wait, what hold, do you mean? wait, hold on you're a second. Right? Listen, one, one second. Said one second. Let me just finish, and then I'll let you go. Let me finish, and I'll let you go. You're, you're not conceding. Conceding here doesn't mean you're accepting the position, and you become a divine command. Conceding means that you are accepting that your critique, that the position is compatible with the second horn, did not work. Now you're not. You wouldn't be accepting that for the sake of argument. You would be accepting that. Period. That's 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 the point. There's no, nothing for, the, the, for the sake of argument. I could have, no, you're, I could have just granted that because I wanted to move on, not just because I realized that it was shown to be false. Well, exactly, but we're not wanting to move on. We're we're telling you that you actually sh we actually showed you that you were incorrect, and you said okay, and then you wanted to move on. But before we moved on, we wanted to make clear to you and the audience about what happened. And now you're not agreeing to what happened, and that's why we're not moving on. But Darth, from, from the discussion earlier, before you said, let's move on and I'll accept it for the sake of argument, and after, like the what followed, um, it seems like you are accepting it. You're not just accepting it, but you're accepting that this position that's being put forward is incompatible with the second horn, which means that you're accepting that your in initial critique simply did not work. I mean, it's fine to say that. I mean, you're like, <laughs> I just don't get why, why you would be saying that, hey, I accept that for the sake of argument. When, 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 when every question you asked me earlier, I was giving you positions or, or qualifications that are uh, mutually exclusive with the second horn. So it's like after, after we go through all the, 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 you know, the, the factors that are involved in assessing the position and whether or not it's compatible with the second horn, and we figure out, okay, the answers do seem to be inconsistent with it. You're like, okay, let's move on for the sake of argument. No. You should be like, okay, I okay, I get that. The position it does does not seem to be compatible with the second horn. That that's 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 the point. So so you re, you realize that when I said that there were arguments I wanted to add on, Muslim metaphysician chimed in and said, No, I'm not gonna let you move on until you concede this point, right? I said well, because no, you were because, because Darth, you wanted to move on to a separate point. He's telling you be, I, I, and I'm not, thinking not exactly the, not exactly it was sort of related because i wanted to know what your view what your metaphysical yeah but they asked you and you said it is a right. separate point. darth you said no, it was but, a separate point unrelated darth darth one second one second guys so you you're moving on to another point that i know related to categorical norms right and now here's here's the issue because earlier in the discussion we touched on these uh, on, on categorical, categorical norms, and I already told you that the, the answer assumes it. Now, you assuming, assumingly critiqued the position and the answer with that background assumption that, you know, categorical norms are assumed here. So, so you're, you, you would literally be moving on to another point in the sense that your critique would be taken elsewhere, because within your critique, we were already assuming categorical norms. So moving on yeah, and you're also is, no, but yeah. he's also then admitting that in order for his critique to supposedly work, he needs to add something additional to his prior critique, which was not present. 
which is our point, which is what we've been saying the entire time. Yeah, but Jake, it's, not, it's not just that, something additional, can... Jake. It's something additional that we already know, agreed but... is an assumption. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But my point is, in the mere fact of him addi- make, make saying and stipulating that it's an additional point that he was not driving at or making previously, it shows that our response up until now has been successful. In other words, his initial critique lacked something which was necessary to undermine the position. Okay, so okay, so in what sense does my because I, I'm I'm arguing that his view is going to be compatible with any critique that's given of the second horn. Like, which critique do you disagree with? Let's just go with that. <laughs> I mean, we're spinning in circles, dude. Now we're now we're really going back to square one. Abdurrahman, I, I don't know where to really take it at this point, to be honest. I I I'm I, let me let me try to understand that question, Darth, so I can know uh, if, we, if we're just gonna have the same just discussion all over. Just ask Darth. Just no ask Darth. Is he trying to do an internal critique against Abdurrahman's view? He is, he is. That's what he's trying to do. No, but it does. Is that no but he's, he's not. Trying, no, he's not, he's though. He's not, but is that what he's trying to do? Is that his... his, 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 his is that, are you trying to demonstrate an internal critique of the Abdurrahman's view? An internal critique? Yeah. Well, right, you're not well, doing you're it. You're not doing that. <laughs> you're bringing in your own positions or your own metaphysics. No... Like why? Why would I be bringing in my own? I mean, may, maybe I maybe you were doing it, maybe asked, you were doing asked, it unintentionally, asked, Darth. Maybe you were doing it unintentionally, but you did bring in a certain understanding of like properties and abstract objects and stuff like that. And when I asked you why the hell do I have to accept that, there was a bit of a pause there in the sense that you 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 have to ask me about my view, you know, uh, with regard to certain considerations that directly affect the position. Not just assume certain metaphysical positions and critique the position on that basis. So, so, so I mean that's one thing. But right now you're, uh, I don't know. It seems like you're asking the exact same question you were asking earlier. Just in, a, you just rephrased it, and we're gonna have the same discussion all over again. Yeah, Doc. What you have to do is you have to take what Abdurrahman is saying. And Abdurrahman, you know, he's he's got his own particular reasons why he's adopted his position. But one of the things is that he's taking a logically possible explanation and then you've got to demonstrate how his explanation, which is logically possible, somehow falls into one of the key critiques, yeah, that it entails that. Now, if you can't show he entails it, but rather you have to add extra metaphysics, then you're not doing an internal critique now. Do you know what the second horn of the Euthyphro dilemma is? Yeah, if you've repeated it several times, man, why are you asking a question which we've been over several times? It's, it, Darth, honestly, it seems <laughs> like you're you're not. It doesn't seem like you really want to continue to talk. Well, it doesn't seem that way to you, but I'm just like asking this person if he knows what the second horn is. Well, he's been listening the whole time, so he knows. You can repeat it again if you want, but. Can you please actually deal with this point about internal critique? I mean, I gave an internal critique. And are you admitting that thus far your internal critique has not been successful? No, like why would I admit that? Because you're saying that you needed to move on to a different point in order to make your point. Wait, how does it follow from the fact that I said I wanted to move on or like, let me grant that for the sake of argument that that's going to be... Because we're saying, saying that we don't want to grant it for the sake of argument. We want to stick on this point to see the merits of the argument up until this point, And then we'll move on to a different point when we come to some sort of impasse or possible agreement on this. That's what we want to do. What do you guys so, want to so, agree so, on? I don't get it. Like I've been here for some time. I don't understand. No, no, let him. So, so, so does so does goodness being an intrinsic property within God prevent there from being 
some other object which is external from God, which is also good? That's my question. That's like been my question this whole time. No, I'm sorry, Darth. Come on. So, okay. So, how about this? What was our answer to the question? Since you're saying right now, you're you saying said, you can repeat. Wait, 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 Darth. Wait, wait, wait. There's a there's a rhetorical point here that's important. You're saying that's been my question the whole time, as if we haven't answered it. So, I my claim is that we've answered it several times, and you're the one who hasn't been listening. So, if you would kindly remind me what our answer was. That you said that in virtue of you positing that goodness was intrinsic to God, you're ruling out that it's external to God. So it would be made incompatible with the second horn. But I'm just saying is that um, there's a state of affairs where goodness is intrinsic to God in one sense. There's one prop, at least one property of goodness which is intrinsic to this concrete object called God. And then... There's another property of goodness which is external to God, right? So um, how did, yeah, how did, haven't we discussed that? With the and horn? we haven't haven't we ruled that out? But you just saying that it, you want to rule it out doesn't show why it's incompatible with the position. You're because, just because because the, the position. And I'm not begging the question. I gave you a reason. I said that if the position stays, you're just that on the, the ontology. Sorry. I'm, look, I'm granting you that goodness is intrinsic to God, but there's some other aspect of goodness which is going to be extrinsic to God, like another form of the good. Yeah, what I'm, well, but I'm denying that, and I'm saying good, that good okay. property. So, so okay, so, yeah, Darth, we're so let's, 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 denying this that. This is where you and, stepped and out of an internal critique. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is the point. We're denying that, and therefore you're not engaging in an internal critique. That's the point. No, but I am because I'm granting that goodness is intrinsic to God. No, you're, saying, no, you're not. But you're, you're leaving it only on that then, level. We're saying it's not merely intrinsic to God. We're also saying that your further conception of this platonic realm of goodness does not exist, and that's part of our theory. That's been stipulated several times. So you're not doing an internal critique. Yeah, so, so, so Darth, have, have we or have we not ruled out the idea that there is an external standard that God uh, conforms with, and have we or have we not ruled out that God's goodness is an instantiation of some kind of abstract object? No, because I'm, no, because your view is that he doesn't conform to this property of goodness, and I'm saying that in virtue of your view saying that goodness is intrinsic to God, it's still possible that within one of those properties, he conforms to an external standard. And there's no... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in the same way it's possible for me to be good, like I can have a property of goodness and I'm conforming to some kind of standard of goodness. I mean, me having the property means I'm going to just necessarily, uh, you know, adhere to, you know, whatever moral standards are objectively true. But that, that, but that's not what I'm saying about God. So, so it's, like, it's not like God is inherently good Therefore, he by nature does what is good when in fact what is or isn't good is determined by an external standard. That's not uh, the position. Brother, assalamu alaikum wa guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all. Uh, oh, and, uh, may Allah bless you, uh, brothers, you know what you're doing. And uh, just try to stop you at the point is, you know, I, I listen to the Dawit, what he's talking about, Abdul Rahman is talking about. Sorry to say that you played around the bush. Why I say that? Because you, you need to understand the concept. Okay, well, let me ask you a simple question. Let me ask you a simple question. This, this will finish everything what you're talking about now. Is stealing or uh, taking something, is it good or bad? Is stealing good or bad? Mm -hmm. I think either. I don't think any moral properties exist. I'm asking, I'm asking you a question. Is stealing good or bad for you, in your way? Answer my question. It's not. It's neither of those. So then you are. You don't have. The, you, don't, you don't have your own intellect to use. You are using. You are telling me that I could start raping a man, or raping a woman. Sorry, forgive me. I'm not. I'm not gay, but uh, raping a woman. No, no. Hold on a second, W. Wait, you're going way wait, off track wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait, no. Wait, you're going way wait, off track, bro. Wait, 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 wait. I tell you're you. You're derailing point. the conversation. With all due respect, you're derailing the conversation. Sorry. Go ahead, Don. I, 
Well, he was asking, like, what my view was on, like, whether or not stealing was good or bad, and I said neither because I'm an error theorist. Right. So, but my point is it's irrelevant to what we've discussed thus far. Yeah. Like, it, it, it might, this isn't about, like, what I believe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no disrespect, bro, but that, that was irrelevant. No, but, it, 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 is, it is. It is, but you know why? But, but you might, it might be irrelevant, like, in a very, like, uh, uh, you know, from a very far uh, 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 point that's, like, somehow relevant to this, but, but it's not, it's going to take us really far. So, Darth, the, my point is that it's not like, um, and you should have understood this, to be honest, that, that it's not like I'm saying there's this intrinsic property that just causally makes God, uh, you know, uh, uh, conform to an external standard. That says, if, if that's what you understood, then, then, then I'm, I'm not sure you've been listening, because that's, we outright deny No, come that. on, Abdul. He knows we haven't said that. The point is, is that his objection can only work if he doesn't actually account for us saying that, which is what we've been saying the whole time. Therefore, you're not doing an internal critique. You're either misrepresenting us or what, I don't know what your purpose is, but we've said several times that our position negates that. Brother, uh, brother Jake, uh, I think I think we, I think we, <coughs> we are wasting our time. So no, no, yes, no, yes, you're right. There may be other person who I'm actually just, just to no, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. They're coming to like a conclusion. Oh, like, by by the way. By the way, guys, can I just say one, one few, two but, sentences and I will, I will leave. Can I just say two sentences? Basically, yeah. I was, I don't know why somebody removed me. I don't want to be an admin in the job, but I was trying to finish this in two sentences because the reason I don't want to be an admin here, I'm a convinced message, that's it. The, the question is, if he says that a stealing, he doesn't know it's good or bad, then he's not using his own intellect, then it's finished, that's it. But you know, you want to, to sick of the day thing. So I say that. Wait, let me finish. That's irrelevant. Let's get back to the internal critique. Yeah, that's, that's irrelevant. Sorry, W. It's irrelevant yeah, to yeah. our discussion. Yeah. But what we're not just going to start, we're not, we're not trying to attack the guy to say he's not using his intellect because he doesn't think that stealing is wrong. We're not interested in that. Sorry. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. Uh, w, 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 you brother, say. brother, listen, listen to that. me for a second. I didn't w, say w, that. I didn't say that. W, wait, 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 wait. listen to me for a second. He's trying to see if our view is consistent. So his view is irrelevant to this. It's, so, so, so that's the point. So right now, you saying, you know, you you discussing his beliefs about morality is not really going to help here. It ha has no no influence on. It does. It does. It does. You know why? You know why it does. Because the reason why automatically if he says stealing, he's doing he, an internal critique. His beliefs have nothing to do with the conversation. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's the point. I mean, W. I know what you're they're, trying they're to do, brother, but it's just it. not. Yeah. They're so, they're supposed to have nothing to do with it, but as you're demonstrating, he's not actually doing an internal critique, because one yeah. of the fundamental mm -hmm. positions that we hold to that doesn't allow for his objection to go through, he's not taken into consideration, mm -hmm. and that's what we've been pointing out. No, but you understand that my view doesn't have anything to do, Abdul, with God having this intrinsic property that causes him to be in accordance with some external standard. I didn't mention anything about causality. No, you're saying it's I'm possible just, for God to have this inherent property of goodness. I'm just saying while it's conceivable. It's conceivable that God, we can grant your position that um, goodness is an intrinsic property within God, that God is the standard of goodness, that there's no platonic objects. We can even grant that right. What I'm just saying is is that um, God can still have this intrinsic property and still be in accordance with the subset of other properties which are also good, right? Yeah, but if you also stipulate as part of the theory... And no. those don't exist, then they couldn't, right? Wait, sorry? If what? you also stipulate as part of the theory that not only is God the standard of it and that it's intrinsic to him, but that there is no other source that is a platonic object of goodness outside of it. No, I, I, no, I didn't say any. I didn't. In this view, there is no mention of platonic objects. It's just saying, look... You could think, for example, we didn't even have to go with the first horn. We could just go 
sec, we could just we you don't even have to go with the second horn. We could just say with the first horn, right? You could just say goodness is intrinsic within God, and in virtue of that, whatever He commands is just going to be morally upright. Right. You're, you're moving to a different so point that, now. You're going to a different that, horn of the dilemma. Well, the idea is is how, how when I asked Abdul first first of all, how does his view deal with either of the two horns? It just deals with the Euthyphro dilemma in general because he thinks it's Art, a false you were dilemma. pressing on a particular horn of the dilemma that you thought that our position would result in, and that's what we've been dealing with. I was now you're moving now you're moving to a different no. horn of the dilemma. It's a different conversation. What do you mean? Look, he thinks that the Euthyphro dilemma is a false dilemma, so he thinks that there's a third option. But I could because I don't think it's a false dilemma, I could bring up either horn and ask him, Well, how does his view get out of either the first or the second horn? That's perfect. Yes, and, and, and the point is, you have not been able to reduce our position to either one of the oh, two no. horns. You haven't look, been able to. Wait, wait, Jake, Jake, I just provided a view. The view is, is that... Yeah, you provided a view that is not ours. Therefore, you have not no, no, reduced no. our look, view look, look. to one of the two horns. Wait, wait, what Abdul, are you talking about? Uh, no, Abdul thinks that goodness is internal to God, right? Abdul, I just want to clarify. Not merely. You keep that. leaving stuff out. Yeah. Okay. It's not merely. Uh, yeah, give me. Give me. Give me a second. I just need to get reconnect. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And I'm just saying. Yeah, Darth, This is not he, going anywhere, bro. You're no, you're trying to move on to a different point. We've tried to stick to the same point to show that you're not able to reduce hey, our position to either one of the two I'm, horns. Okay. And now you're trying to say that you have. You haven't. You've been unsuccessful in doing so. Can I bring out the critique to you, right? The idea. No, not if you're just going to repeat the same thing. You, we've heard you several times. Look, the view is is that goodness is internal to God, which not it doesn't have to be merely internal to God. I can accept what Abdul is saying, and I'm just saying is is that. The divine command theorists can just say, well, look, goodness is not merely internal to God. It's still internal to God, but in virtue of that internality, whatever he commands is always going to be good. So how is your view incompatible with the first horn? You're, were you talking about the second horn or the first one before? I was talking about the second horn, but now... Okay, so now so now you're moving on I'm, to a different I'm, argument to try to... Re because you were unsuccessful in reducing no, our position to the second horn, wait, you're wait, trying to reduce our position to the first horn. Is that right? Jake, why are you commentating? Like, why? No, because, because, because Look, what I'm showing is... I'm what I'm just, showing is... Just, what I'm showing, my friend... What I'm showing is... No, no. Right. What I'm showing is... Your, your tactics are not working here, and I have to point that out to the audience because you try to slick talk people and beguile the audience with your speech, and it's no, not no. going to work. Your no, tactics no, 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 are not no, no. working. Stop, no, 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 you're stopping him. Listen, no, you're, you're, no, you're, you're, no, no, no. Brother, no, no, no. Brother, brother, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. wait, 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 to access the link above because to be quite frank with you the muslims on clubhouse do not know how the hell to argue with people okay and that's why you guys get embarrassed half the time so we have to step up and show that these people like darth and his friends i'm sorry you're not going to bully us around you're not going to beguile us with your speech it's not going to happen and what we showed is that you were unsuccessful wait, wait. to reduce our position Hold on a second, because now I'm moving to my rant, okay? And you've been moved to the audience. Now, my point is, what's not going to happen is what you think that you normally do with most people. It's not going to fly when I'm here and when Abdurrahman is here and when Sharif is here. It's not going to fly. We're not going to let it happen. And we're not going to move on for the sake of argument because we show that your position is not actually correct. We showed that you were unable to reduce our position to the second horn of the Euthyphro dilemma. So now you're moving to try to reduce our position to the first horn. Sorry, bro. I'm commentating because I'm giving a summary because I'm smart enough to follow along with the conversation 
and I see every moving part and I know what's going on. I know exactly what you're doing. It's not going to happen. Plain and simple. This is just spelling abuse. Yeah, let's move on with the few. I mean, we gave him Wallahi, we gave him a, a lot of opportunities to be sincere. Yeah, he is. Anyway. The point is conceded. His internal critique is therefore invalid. Rishi, or think if you want to say something. He was conflating the platonic understanding for quite a while. Yeah, I, I, I want to ask uh, that. If your view is that it's, it's metaphysically impossible for God to do something um, immoral, let, like murder or something, uh, that is your position, right? Am I understanding that correctly? I'm sorry, I'm a bit limited right now. Uh, but yeah, um, um, yes, it's metaphysically impossible. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, then in that sense, I, I would say that human beings would be in some ways, or certain human beings would be in some ways, more morally superior than God. Because God, it's impossible for God to do anything morally wrong. He can do it. But somebody who, who, who for, him, for him, it's possible that he can do bad, but still refrains from doing bad, then he, he would be more superior, morally speaking, as an agent. Than God, who by uh, by impos uh, it's it's impossible for God. To... I think yeah, I think um, the problem. Uh, that's uh, one second. Yeah. So so is this going to be based on a more what, what moral standard is this criterion going to be based on? Uh, it's more like an intuition uh, that we have that somebody who is incapable of doing bad uh, is less of a. Um, less uh, morally superior than someone who for for someone who it is possible that he can do both bad and good but he chooses to do good that person will always be superior to the one who, who can never do good uh, can never do uh, like I said it's, I think it's very intuitive no you're saying it's intuitive it's not to me and also, I think uh, there seems to be a bit of a category error. I mean, in order for you to make that comparison, you need to put two agents on like level playing grounds and then make that judgment. However, when it comes to God, it seems like when you appeal to God's goodness and say that God is good and that his commandments are good, you're, you're uh, basically uh, having a, dis a, a meta-ethical discussion about the source of goodness. So it doesn't seem like you're going to put God on level playing ground with a human and see that, oh, he is morally upright versus, you know, he is more morally upright. I don't think that's, that's a possible comparison. We just, they were comparing two agents in completely different categories. The one age, the first agent is the agent that is the source, not just of all goodness, but of everything, and that sets the standard. And the second are agents who basically were created and put together on a level play down with each other to basically be tested. So it's not like it's I don't. I don't think that judgment works. I think there's a bit of a category error there. Wait, but but doesn't it work with angels? Like uh, mankind is uh, Ashraful Makhlukat. The angels only do good, but mankind is superior to angels because mankind has free will and yeah, yeah, but, those but, who but, are. But, but you're not focusing. Think their angels are still on level playing ground with us in the sense that they are created. And if you're going to make that judgment, you're making it based on uh, you know that standard that they are in a different category they they are in the category of the created realm that adheres to standards not in the category of the source of the standard you can't judge the law by its own self i mean in that sense like it's, 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 it's not I'm, I'm, what i'm saying I'll, is i'll just uh, listen think i'll just add to the uh, one one point point to the abdul rahman so what i say so this this is what i what i've learned so it is very clear thing that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mentioned that you know wh whenever you you actually define something by your own self I understand where you're coming from you, you're saying that if a person have having two options and then he controls himself so it makes a better person so I, I, I kind of 
agree with, with your point but in the case of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is the case is that that he himself had mentioned and uh, I mean made some obligations to to himself like like he as he mentioned as and as we know in the Quran that he mentioned that my mercy will always overpower my anger so like this is a factor that he I mean stated for himself so similarly we also believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't do anything which which doesn't befit his majesty like for example God doesn't uh, commit crime so so because we crime is a wrong act or or you can say it's a shameful act so anything that be, doesn't befits the majesty of god we cannot associate that thing to god because god uh, himself have assigned this thing that he will not do that thing so i mean when we are talking upon this thing uh, this thing becomes irrelevant that god commits crime or god doesn't have free will and all those things yeah brother abdul rahman if you want to continue or if you yeah. want to correct my point this. Yeah, it's similar to like saying like thinker. You could say that like okay, so um, uh, you know, let's say I'm weak, so it's more impressive if I go and beat like a bunch of guys up. But God, if you know, God, uh, you know, dominating the same group of people is not going to be as impressive. I mean, so it's that kind of category where in the sense that it's just not. Um, it's, it's, I, I think we're judging. Um, we're, we're using. A standard, uh, the, using the standard in the wrong way to judge two agents in completely different categories. Abdul, Ab, Ab, Abdul, did you hear what I said about the, I, about the view that you hold where goodness could just be internal to God and the divine command theorists can just say, well, in virtue of goodness being internal to God, anything that God is going to going to command is always going to be moral now the question is how does your view get out of what the, the divine command theorist is going to want to be committed to wait but aren't you because i wasn't listening so sorry because i was well i i, I was occupied but then but then listen look so aren't you now talking about arbitrariness which is a different story well and yes he moved to a different he tried to move to a different horn of the dilemma he tried to move to a different horn of the dilemma and that's why I removed you. Now I'm removing you from the room. Uh, yeah, Darth, I mean, that seems like you're talking about a completely different horn, man. It seems like you're talking about... The, he already uh, admitted that, Abdul. Dilemma. That's the point. He already admitted that. He said he's moving on to now the first horn of the dilemma rather than the second one. And where I'm not tolerating the dishonesty. Sorry. We're not going to allow oh, you okay. to make an objection. And then when we show that the objection is not founded... You refuse to accept it and admit it. No, we're not going to take it for the sake of argument. This is an atheist cat 